Well, we made it through Chapter 5, and uh, I think we all learned a lot. So, Red and Black Dragon have started new lives on planet Earth, thanks to their friend Maine, who saved them from Lithera just before it exploded, took them to Texas, and even gave us all a little lesson in economics. But that's not all. Uh, now that Red Dragon is matriculating in high school, he has taken a shine to a classmate of his named Delia de Magrin, and she is uh, very interested in the field of spiritual beliefs. And indeed, the very last sentence of the chapter told us verbatim, Red Dragon was in love. Uh, obviously, I had a lot to say about romance when I was writing this at eight years old, so I think it's time to turn the lights down low and continue the Dragon Brothers. Chapter 6, The Voyage to Krimna. Red Dragon and Black Dragon were having a conversation as they walked home from school. What do you do if you like a girl, but you know she doesn't like you? Asked Red Dragon. Well, you've got to make her like you, said Black Dragon. How? Said Red Dragon. Give her flowers? Give her money? Give her a car? What? Different people like different things, said Black Dragon. As Red Dragon thought about that, they approached Maine's mechanics. That was where Maine worked, but he had made most of it into a home for Red and Black Dragon. When they came back, they found a note pinned to the door. It said, Dear guys, I'm at the library. I'll be back soon. If Mr. Archer comes, give him the red Honda. Maine. <laughs> I wonder what Maine could be getting at the library, said Red Dragon. They walked into the shop and got something to eat. Just then the doorbell rang. I'll get it, said Black Dragon. It was Mr. Archer. As Black Dragon showed him to his car, Red Dragon noticed a strange map on the table. He looked closer and saw something near the bottom of the map. It was an island, but it just didn't seem right there. He ran up to his room and looked at his globe. That island wasn't there on the real maps. He ran back to the map and looked at the island again. It was marked Krimna. Black Dragon, come look at this, said Red Dragon. <laughs> he showed Black Dragon the island he found. Just then, Maine walked in holding a book. Hi, guys, he said. What's the book? asked Red Dragon. Maine showed it to him. It said, The Legend of Krimna. What's Krimna? asked Black Dragon. Krimna is a place that most people don't believe in, said Maine. It's full of mythical creatures, like dragons and goblins. No one's ever found it until now. What do you mean, until now, said Red Dragon. I think I've pinpointed the exact location of Krimna, said Maine. Follow me. I've been looking for Krimna ever since I got to this planet, he said as they followed him to a big garage door. He opened the door, and behind it was what looked like a normal car. You're gonna get to this island in the middle of the ocean in this? said Red Dragon. This isn't a big enough area to show you what this car can do, but I can show you on this model, said Maine. He took out a small toy car that looked like the car he showed them. He walked over to a small model of a portion of the town. He laid it down, and the car started going. It drove on the ground for a second or two, but then tiny wings popped out of the car, and a fiery blast came out of the back. The car lifted off the street and was flying. It flew right out the window of Maine's shop. Can this car really do that? asked Red Dragon. You bet, said Maine. The next morning, Black Dragon asked Red Dragon, Did you decide what you're going to do for Delia? No, but... That's it, said Red Dragon. Delia likes ghosts and goblin stuff. She believes in myths. She loves it. I'll take her to Krimna, said Red Dragon. What? said Black Dragon. You barely know her. You can't take her halfway across the world. It would make her happy. When Red Dragon got into school, he saw Delia. Delia, have you ever heard of Krimna? he asked. Oh yes, that wonderful place, said Delia. Too bad no one else believes in it. I believe in it, said Red Dragon. In fact, I know where it is. You what? said Delia, surprised. I have located on a map the... <laughs> I have located on a map the exact location of Krimna. After school, Red Dragon took Delia to Maine's mechanics. He showed her the maps and books. How did you find this out? she asked. 
Yo, Maine! shouted Red Dragon. Maine walked into the room and was surprised to see Delia. A Martian, she said. Not quite, said Red Dragon. A Delian. A what? said Delia, more than a little surprised. He came from the planet Odell. But you can't tell anyone about this, said Red Dragon. Excuse me, said Red Dragon. Red Dragon walked over to Maine and talked to him quietly. Is your plane car thing ready? Well, yes, but... Let's go, said Red Dragon. To Krimna, said Maine. Shh, said Red Dragon, smiling. Warm it up. He went back to Delia. Maine and I will take you home. They got into the car. Just then Black Dragon came by. This is my bro... Friend, uh, Steve. As Black Dragon got into the car, Maine started driving for a little while. Then, just like the model, two wings sprung out from the sides. They could feel themselves lifting into the air. Where are we going? said Delia. Krimna, said Red Dragon. End of chapter.